Hey everyone, it's Book of Catherine, and I'm going to add on a little episode at the very end for your Halloween and nice little Halloween October surprise. Well, they're not a good October surprise for my Halloween October Insider Movie fans. We're going to do an episode six. I am recommending a movie today that you can go see in big screen theaters today, and that is Bad Times at the El Royale. So I know some of you guys have already seen it because you saw me raving about it on Twitter. It is an, uh, a little commercial that came up when I was watching Zap to Cocaine, and I was like... What? I, I, I'll I never forget what it was like seeing that. I'll, I'll never forget it. I, it, I kind of, it was a little bit like a time warp, like traveling back in time. I kind of wondered like where I, I was because I, I thought someone had like cut into my feed to be quite honest. I was like, is someone hacking me? <laughs> I actually, was, I thought someone might be hacking my screen and I had to look down and it was like, no, this is an ad. And I was like, this is an ad for now. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Like I couldn't believe that there was an actual, it is so different that the movies have been made. When you see every single trailer for a movie that comes on looks like every, they all have the same coloring. They all have the same exact, you know, filters. They all have the same lens flares. They all have the same music. They all have the same themes. They all have the same, da, da, da. they all have the same writing. This was completely and totally like, and it was as if like insider movies, like all of our insider movies, it was, that's what it was. It felt like we were having an advertisement for one of our insider movies on the screen, but it was one that we'd never done before. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I felt like I was being punked. I still kind of feel like I was being punked. I still feel like I'm being punked. So anyway, so, um, but it is a tremendous film and, and it's, a, it's playing in my little town. So if it's playing my town. I know it's playing everywhere. And so go see it for your, um, Halloween. It'll be an amazing movie to see. Great way to celebrate Halloween amazing film okay let me show you let me show you like i'm ordering the poster but i don't know which poster you guys can help me decide which poster well i gotta wait till you see the posters hold on okay like do you see that poster that ain't no normal poster and i swear it's the best performance i have ever seen this guy chris hemworth is it chris Hemworth? right i sorry chris Hem yeah, i just want to make sure i get it right so chris Hem see I know. chris hemworth ever give like ever, ever just say that I always think Thor, but no, now I think this is, he's forever burned in my mind. Ever, ever. I'll always see, uh, that's all I ever see now is, uh, in the rain. Uh, I shouldn't be doing that with my spine. That's all I ever see now. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, uh, and then there's this other poster. This is where I'm having such a hard time. Like, if you go online, all the movie poster places have them, and there's, like, a million posters. Look at that poster. Isn't that so Vegas? Like, it's supposed to be half Vegas, half, like, Reno, Nevada. It's very vague. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Ugh. So it is, but it's a scary movie, and it's, but it's, like, a good, good, like, it's psycho, and, oh, it's so good. It's a ho I, it's, and, and, and that's why I felt like I was being punked, because it was a Halloween movie that I wanted to see, and I've never seen a Halloween movie that I wanted to see. I was like, I want to see this, which means they've ruined me. This whole series has ruined me, because I was like, it, or it's just that done that well. Anyway, I should get off, because I want to make a small film for you guys to go and see it. Oh, and there's a second movie, but it's not a Halloween movie, but it's out right now, and that is called The Upsides, starring Nicole Kidman and Kevin Hart. And it is, you will see both of these films, uh, The Upside, and it's about someone that's um, handicapped in a wheelchair, but I can tell you, <laughs> it's actually real. Like, it's not one of those sappy sob stories or whatever. It's based on a true story, and it's actually, it actually tells the truth for once. And it's funny, and it's well done. It's real. And what I really liked about both of these films is that the actors... You could tell the actors were enjoying their job for once instead of being, it comes through on the film, well, at least I can see it. I can see it on the film. When it comes through, I can actually tell like whether or not they're enjoying their job or not enjoying their job. These actors, uh, you you guys don't know this, but like actors are still like theater geeks. They really are geeks. If you remember the theater club in high school? Actors are still theater geeks. Like they really are. They just love acting. Like I know they come off cool and they wear all these sunglasses and things like that, but they're theater geeks. And so when they get to act and they get to actually do something that they love, it comes through on the screen and they were all into all of these roles, loving, it was like they were loving acting again. And I was just like, oh. 
oh, so it's like, oh, they feel the same way I do. They feel they love this film as much as I do. So anyway, those are two films. I hope you go enjoy it. I love you guys so much. That's a little kicker to end October. And then we will try and do, so um, the, the person that I do this whole film series inspired for, uh, they, they were talking to me. I was talking to them about what they're watching. Um, they've been watching... They've been listening to me in the background, and uh, I was like, so what are you watching? And they were like, actually, I've been watching your Thanksgiving movies. And I was like, oh. And then they were like, I really, really love them. And I was like, do you want me to do that again? So they were like, I really would. And I'm like, oh, boy. So I'm thinking about doing that series again. We'll see if we do it. So I will post it on Twitter. Last year's, that was a really big labor of love for me. Last year's Thanksgiving movies, it was really big. And that actually brought in, I would think, the biggest the high, biggest names in Hollywood came in on the Thanksgiving movies of last year. So I will include that playlist at the end of this. And I'll link that right here. And that's enough. All right. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing, safe Halloween. And celebrate it up. And like... Go right, have, have fun with it. Have fun dressing up, like have fun getting all dressed. Oh, I didn't dress in vintage. Well, actually, no, this, this is vintage. This, this is amazing vintage. Isn't it beautiful? So that was on accident. So, well, every, yeah. All right. Love. Bye.